Hey guys, I'm Lucas McFarlane, and this is my new vlog. Um, I will be documenting the process of creating my new show, The Suffocating Truth. I will be dropping a new video every week, kind of documenting how that week went, either in rehearsal or on tour. Um, it's going to be like an eight-part mini-series. So welcome to my vlog about creating The Suffocating Truth. My love is overdone, selfish and domineering. <clears throat> okay. So don't try I'm home. Two, two years it's been since I was here putting on Exposed. And now we're back. Whoa, and I would just died on twice. Oh, that would be a not a memory right now. Hello, everybody. Oh, I'm home. I'm back. We're back. It's as cold as ever. <laughs> and we're back. So first off was prepping the asylum in order to create the world that I wanted to within its walls. Everyone got straight to work, loading in all the lighting equipment we needed to get in. We had some fun doing it too. It was so surreal being back in the place where it all started for me, where it all started with Untitled, where I put my first show on two years ago, and now I was starting my UK tour. I couldn't believe it. So after two weeks hard rehearsal in the studio, I thought the dancers would benefit from some physiotherapy. It was well deserved. <laughs> How are we feeling, Amy? <laughs> Ricky. Yeah. How is it? It really hurts, but it's good. Okay. Her hands aren't cold anymore, so it's fine. <laughs> So our first major hurdle was going to be plotting the lights for the entire show. But I was really excited about this part because I truly believe that lights can just bring our entire show to life. Like over those yeah. 10 seconds, so it, or, or however long the dark for, so if you just eat the sound, or, it's still playing when the dark is happening. I was just going to say, down, down, or you yeah. play that droning over top and it goes dark, 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 and yeah. you're playing full blast in the dark and then the sound just cuts out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Safe to say, we were at a good place right off the bat. We worked slowly and surely to create something really, really beautiful, something that people would remember when they left the theater. This was important to me, that it wasn't rushed, and that it was done properly. Not that we didn't have some fun along the way. This particular warm-up was an interesting one. <laughs> and before we knew it, it was show day. It's show day! Yeah, it's show day. <laughs> That's a bit crazy. <laughs> Three weeks leading up to this moment. There's our home for the first show premiere. Um, it's freaking me out a bit. I didn't sleep last night. That's fine. Who needs sleep? Sleep is for the week, right? Um, just can't get a billion to one things out of my head, really. But that's okay. It's gonna be worth it. And. 
I'm freaking buzzing for everyone to see this. Still making changes, always, uh, but it's gonna be worth it, and I can't wait for everyone to see this. Here we go. Bless me. Here we go. What are we doing right now, Rick? Setting up the seats. We sold way too many, so we need 500 million more chairs. So we're adding more chairs because we sold more tickets than we thought. So we have to add more chairs. Woo. Not a bad thing. Well, Kayleen's going over everything. And then we're adding a third row. <laughs> Two years prior to this moment, I'd come into this venue with 14 dancers who had committed three months to me and we created Exposed. From there, I knew that I really wanted to bring a show on tour. I wanted to bring it to everybody outside of London, everybody who couldn't be there to see the first show. And I knew that I wanted to say something important. I wanted to say something that I hadn't said when I had a platform previously. I wanted to talk about sexuality and I wanted to talk about acceptance of sexuality. I wanted to talk about how we are all important and we're all perfect the way we are. And that who we love doesn't matter or define us, but it is an important part that makes us up into the amazing humans that we are. My team is incredible. My lighting designer, my sound designer, my five dancers, my guardian angel approved. I couldn't have done this without them. So two years ago, I bought a bottle of champagne and I said I would crack it on the day that we went on tour. And if you'll believe it, I forgot that bottle at home. So I went out and bought another bottle of champagne and we'll just have to pop that one in Birmingham. So here we are on the press night premiere of our very first show of The Suffocating Truth. And I cannot wait for everyone around the UK to see this show. begin.